Good morning, Taurus. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to be a tour rear today. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? All right, so Taurus, this is going to be your love reading for the sign of Taurus, so Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign. Not all messages will resonate, but take or resonates and leave the rest behind. For that being said, Taurus, um, cross watchers, you are welcome here. Um, but just know these messages will be intended for Taurus. So if you are cross watching for a Taurus, just know that messages can be vice versa. In Taurus, you are welcome to make any messages vice versa. If you feel like um, I am talking about the other person rather than talking about you. All right. So today we'll be using the Rider Weight deck, the Gaia Oracle card deck. And yeah. Cool. So, whoop. Oh. Okay, I'm going to put that back. I'll, I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to shuffle. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So that was the Eight of Swords. Oh. So the Eight of Swords tells me you could be feeling a bit uh, like you... So you're just feeling like you aren't seeing everything for what it is, or you could be... You could be just not looking forward. You could just be wandering and not getting the clarity that you desire. Um, you, and yeah, there's a bunch of danger around you that you're not really seeing. That's what the Eight of Swords is. Um, and yeah. So at the bottom of the deck, you have the Hierophant in reverse. So it does look like you will be making a firm decision on what you want to do. Why am I doing it like that? There you go. Okay, okay. Cool. So, Taurus, during this time you are feeling like you haven't been, or someone isn't giving everything that they could be. Uh, maybe you feel like the connection just isn't equal. Uh, because when I look at the Six of Cups, I see equal give and take. Uh, but when it's in reverse, I see like, you know, them just taking, taking, taking and not really giving back. So you may feel like you should give back or that they should give back during this time. Uh, when it comes to your emotions, um, when it comes to your emotions, you are feeling like the lovers. So you're feeling very loved up and you feel like this person could be your soulmate. Um, this person matches your energy and really does give back when they need to. Um, and, or you could just be manifesting this person into existence because you do have the magician card above you. Maybe your emotion, you're following your heart and you're going towards what you want, not what you desire, which is great. Well, I mean, you desire to manifest this person, um, but you're emotions and your manifestations match each other so it's like they go hand in hand um so that's great you know you're manifesting this person this soulmate connection that is going to really be beneficial for you and stuff like that so yeah let's see what your partner is looking like so when it comes to your partner they are coming out as the page of wands reverse so that this is someone that kind of is all up in their head, doesn't know when to take action, could be a bit of a child and takes action, you know, and is really in their mind. This could, you have the lover's card here, which could represent Gemini, so maybe you you have an uh, emotional attachment to a Gemini, um, seeing how you also have the Three of Cups, which is also Gemini, um, and even though this person is coming out as the Page of Wands reverse, it's... The Page of Wands reverse is someone that's really in their head. You know, it's someone that doesn't know when to take action and can be a bit childish. You know, maybe they just aren't mature enough to know the difference between, you know, a few things. So they may worry or stress a lot. Seeing how when it comes to their desires, they are very stressed out. They maybe when it comes to you, they just aren't sure where their heart lies or what's going on. Uh... Or they could just be stressed out about this friendship, seeing how they have the Three of Cups in reverse. You know, maybe they're worried about something they did to you, or some, you know, maybe they feel like that you won't forgive them. 
um, if you know this person, you know, these are, this can be a relationship, it can be a friendship, you know, whatever it is, uh, just keep that, keep that in mind, it's some sort of relationship, it doesn't have to be an actual love, love relationship, it's a connection between two people, that's basically what this is, um, but yeah, you're not really worried, but they're stressed out because they feel like they did you wrong in some way, shape, or form, that they just weren't thinking, and now they're overthinking, and maybe they did something to hurt you, and now they're just like, what do I do now? How do I fix this? Um, and maybe you don't even realize what they did and because it didn't really affect you that as much as they think. Uh, for the outcome of the situation, you do have... You do have the King of Wands in the upright and the Three of Swords in reverse. So with the Three of Swords being in reverse, it means that you are releasing a third party situation. Maybe this person knows what they did was wrong and they are releasing that person and they are staying with you. Um, so you may be choosing the King of Wands. You know, they... So what I'm getting from this is that they're having this tower moment right now even though the tower card is not here they are changing from the page of wands reverse to the king of wands in the upright so this person could be a sagittarius or a leo or you could be choosing a sagittarius or a leo over this person um but seeing how they're coming up in your reading and you guys kind of have matching energies not uh, seeing how you have Gemini over here and they have Gemini over here um, You know, I feel like this is like a Gemini or a fire sign with a Gemini Sun Why did I say that a uh, fire sign with a Gemini moon? Maybe you are dealing with a Gemini for some and they have a fire moon, but either way um, But yeah, so if there was a third party between you and someone else and there was some confusion or some delays, it looks like that's being cleared up and you're finally getting your manifestation that you desire. Um, and this may not come right away. It may take some time. So just be patient and you know things will start to work out the way you want them to. Um, but just be careful, like I said, because at one point they did involve a third party situation. Um, and whether or not they will again is debatable, you know, because this is only so far in the future. It's not telling you the whole future, but it, but this could mean that they are transforming into a more person that knows when to take action and knows when not to take action. Um, I'm going to draw a few more cards. Yeah, it seems like this relationship was a huge burden on you. Um, or the situation was a huge burden on you, but you're taking it pretty easily. You're knowing. Yeah, so this person, this person is changing a lot. So they have the page of wands, they have the page of wands in reverse, and they have the page of swords in reverse. So not only were they not thinking, they weren't taking, they didn't know if they should take action, they if they did take action then they know um and you know they're they were just being very childish like you they have so many pages here on their side of the board and it's a huge burden on you because they involved you in a third party situation when you were equal you were giving them all that you could and they were just taking 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 and they just they didn't uh, reciprocate. They decided to give that energy to someone else. But now you're releasing that burden or this third party situation and going after what feels right, what feels good, what you know, what is going to be beneficial for you. So if this person is a karmic, then you know. Um, but it does look like they will be learning from the situation, seeing how they have the king of wands in the upright. All right, so Aries, Aries, why did I say Aries? Taurus, 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 Taurus. Give me one second, and then we'll get into your uh, Oracle cards. 
All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What is going on for Taurus? Any any oracle cards? Any advice for Taurus? And these are the Gaia oracle cards. If you are wondering. But, uh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. One more shuffle. One more shuffle for Taurus. One more shuffle for Taurus. Rising above. Uh, rising above clarity, freedom, and solution. So, Aries also got this, uh, card. So you may want to look at Aries, Aries's love reading um, or situation. So it looks like you're going to be rising above um, this burden or the situation. So you're going to be releasing it and going towards this soulmate. And Aries got a very similar card or actually the same exact card. Um, so just you may want to watch that and see if you resonate with that. Maybe you're going after an Aries or an Aries comes from towards you um, because in the Aries reading it was someone was wanting to send them a message but they were kind of debating on it and but yeah you don't have to be but this is like you're becoming free you're getting clarity and you're finding a solution in out of all of this out of all this chaos right you have healing so this could be them or it could be you um, Seeing how they put you in a third party situation or you put them, you know, and it can be vice versa. But I don't know, I, I feel like it's them because of all the pages and stuff like that. Um, you could need some time to heal, you know, take a break, you know, if you really desire that. Um, but this is, this is really coming from the heart. This is your heart chakra asking you to really heal yourself because, you know, you got this third party situation here. You know, once you take those swords out, it's going to be very painful. And you got to bandage it up somehow. You got to heal that heart. Because if you don't bandage it and you just take the swords out, it's not going to heal or it's going to heal very slowly. So you got to, you know, give yourself some love. You know, really nurture yourself. Now's a great time to do some self care and stay hydrated and stay healthy. That way, you know, you know you can do what's best for you all right taurus i hope you guys resonated and enjoyed this reading if you did please like comment and subscribe i really do appreciate it and it helps grow my channel and namaste i'll see you guys next time peace and if you like to follow me on instagram and twitter the links will be down in the description below and i'll see you guys next time